So in this video, we're going to talk about how to solve systems of linear equations by graphing. So a system of linear equations consists of two or more linear equations that have the same variables. So in today's video, we're going to talk about systems like this one shown here that have two equations and two variables. So the solution to a system in two variables is an x value and a y value that makes both equations true. So that's why we usually write the solution to a system as an ordered pair x comma y. So to determine whether a point is a solution to the system of equations, you're going to plug the x and y values into both equations and make sure that the values make both equations true. So for example, here we want to check whether 5, 1 is a solution to the system. So remember, that means x is 5 and y is 1. So I'm going to plug those values into both my equations. So if I plug it into the first equation, I get 5 plus 3 times 1 equals 8. So that's going to be 5 plus 3 equals 8, which tells me that 8 equals 8. So that works out for the first equation. But remember, that's only half the problem, right? Because if it's a solution, it has to make both equations true. So I'm going to plug into the second equation. So I have 2 times 5 minus 9 equals y, which is 1. Well, 2 times 5 is 10. So I have 10 minus 9 equals 1 which gives me, once again, one's e 1 equals 1. So since it makes both equations true, we can say that 5, 1 is a solution, OK? Because it has to be um, plugged into both equations, and it has to make both equations true. So there are three ways to solve systems of equations. We can solve by graphing, substitution, or linear combination. So in this video, we're going to focus on solving by graphing. And then there will be two more videos after this that will show you how to solve by substitution and linear combination. So to solve systems of equations by graphing, I actually prefer to use Desmos. You can do this on your TI calculator also, but I think it's quicker to use Desmos for these kind of problems. Um, so we're going to start off by typing both equations into Desmos. And the nice thing about Desmos is that you don't have to worry about rearranging the equation into slope-intercept form. So you may have had to do that back in Algebra 1 when you were using the star version of Desmos. Um, but now in Algebra 2, we're just using regular Desmos. So you can just type the equations in just as they are. Um, and then you can use the zoom tools to find the point where the two lines intersect. And then if you click on that intersection point, it's going to give you the coordinates of that point. And that point will be the solution to your system of equations. So before we get started, I just want to remind you that there are systems that don't have just one solution, right? So, you know, most of our systems will have one solution, right? There'll be a point where our two lines cross, and that will be the solution. Sometimes we have two lines that are parallel, right? And remember what makes two lines parallel is that they're never going to intersect. Well, if they never intersect, then there's going to be no solution to that system, right? Because there'll be no point where they cross. Um, sometimes you'll get a graph that looks like this, and you may be wondering, well, it looks like there's just one line, right? But actually what happened is our system had two lines that were exactly the same. So when we graph it, those two lines, you know, they're kind of graphed over each other. And so every point where the two lines intersect is a solution. Well, if you think about it, every line has an infinite number of points, right? So if two lines are intersecting everywhere, then you have an infinite number of solutions. So we can have one solution to a system, no solutions, or we can have infinite solutions. So let's try practicing with some examples. Let's solve this system of equations by graphing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to Desmos, and I'm just going to type in both of these equations. So I type in y equals 2x minus 1, and these equations are actually both in slope-intercept form. And then I type y equals x plus 4. So now I have my equations typed in. And actually, well, you can already see the intersection point, right? You can see that right here, those two lines are going to cross. And this is the wonderful thing about Desmos is that if you click on that point, it goes ahead and gives you the coordinates. So I know that the solution to the system of equations is 5, 9. And if you want to check this, you can actually plug this point into both of the equations and see that it does make both the equations true. So now let's try this example. So this is what I was talking about. Um, notice that these both equations are in standard form, right? They're not in slope-intercept form. So if you were doing this and you were using the star version of Desmos, you'd have to rearrange into slope-intercept form. And actually, if you use your TI calculator to do these problems, you'll have to rearrange into slope-intercept form. But in Desmos, we can just go ahead and type the equations just as they are. So I'm going to type in 3x plus y equals 7 and negative 2x plus 3y equals negative 12. 
and it will go ahead and graph both equations. And you can see here, I have my intersection point at three negative two. So that's gonna be the solution to this system of equations, three negative two. So now you can go ahead and pause the video and try doing this problem on your own. So you can see here we have the system x plus 3y equals 9 and 4x minus 2y equals 8. So I did actually type these into Desmos and then I went ahead and clicked on the intersection point and it gave me the coordinates of 3, 2. So that means that 3, 2 is the solution to the system of equations. So let's try some more examples. Let's try solving this system by graphing. So I'm going to go ahead and type into Desmos. So I have negative 2x plus y equals 3. And then I have 4x minus 2y equals 8. Well, look what happens here. I have two parallel lines, right? And if you don't believe that these are parallel lines, you can just you know keep zooming out and see that these do go on forever. And they are parallel and never intersect. OK, so if we have two parallel lines that are never going to cross, that means we will have no solution to our system of equations. So this is one of our special cases, right, where we have no solution. So now you can go ahead and pause the video and try doing this example on your own. So in this example, you can see that when you graph the system of equations, and I'll you know graph it again so that you can see what happens, um, it looks like just one line, right? But actually, we do have both lines typed in, right? So if I type x plus 3y equals 5 and negative 2x minus 6y equals negative 10, um, it looks like one line because they are actually equations of the same line. Um, so this is going to be one of those systems where the points, you know, intersect everywhere, right? The two lines intersect everywhere. So we have infinite solutions to the system of equations. So remember that you can solve systems of equations by graphing in Desmos. The intersection point will be the solution to the system. But remember that systems of equations can have one solution, no solution, or infinitely many solutions.